Hi, I'm Giovanni, Chef Ristorante Caseme. Today we're gonna make uh, a beautiful dish, uh, polpette al sugo. For this re recipe, we're gonna need gehakt of uh, meat. It can be pork, it can be veal. I use a mix of the two. More fat we add to this dish, more soft are gonna be these uh, uh, meatballs. Uh, another important ingredient is the tomato passata. Basilico, fresh one, onion, garlic, parmigiano, parsley, and milk. We start with the preparation. Ah, another important ingredient, the bread. The bread is gonna go inside of the, of the meat and it's gonna give, a, uh, it's gonna make it a bit more softer, which is gonna be lovely. First of all, we, get, we take out the, 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 the outside. Because the only thing we're gonna need is the inside. Now we cut the bread in cubes, like this. We cut it first like this and then after in cubes. We put it in the bowl and we put a bit of milk inside. The bread is always better if it's a bit older, like the day before. inside the milk and we try to cover all the bread. I use milk because I'm adding a bit more fat to the dish. If you want to add water for having less fat inside, that's not going to be a problem. In the meantime that the bread is soaking, we're going to, we're going to start to prepare the tomato sauce because we're going to cook those ingredients, the, the polpette and the tomato sauce in a, in a different way, in a, two different pots and then after we're going to just put them together. As always, we take the top and the bottom out of the, away from the onion. Somebody use the carrots and the celery, celery and, uh, and onion. Somebody use only carrots and onion. I use only onion because honestly, I like the sweetness in the, in the tomato sauce. So most of the time, when I make a tomato sauce, I use only onion and garlic. Put it on the fire. Like that. You always do. Okay. Knife. Great garlic. In this one, I'm using quite a lot of garlic because I love it, honestly. This one is also a choice. You want it rough, you want it, you want it with the little cubes. It, it's up to you. I prefer always when the onion is cut in cubes, you can say. Okay. Now we have the onion, we just put it inside in the, in the oil, which is already cooking a bit the, the garlic, we take out the taste of it. Voila! Mm, it's already smell amazing. You see that it starts to, to break apart, that's what we want. We don't want the piece of, of, uh, of bread inside. It has to be a pot ready to mix together with the meat. It's onion uh, and, uh, and garlic, almost fine. When this one is done, we're gonna add to it the passata. Add the passata, we're gonna put inside a bit of the basilico, but not the leaf. We just use this side. the beginning so then uh, I'm gonna add a bit of the taste can you see it yes passata passata we put a bit of water inside of here 
in a glass and we add a bit of water to the sauce because uh, it has to cook and then after in the moment that we fry the polpette and we put it in then it needs to be a bit liquid for just keep the, 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 the cooking process okay a bit of salt from the beginning just a bit then after in the moment that we see that we need it we are gonna add it here we have the mint meat the bread soaked in, in, uh, in milk parmesan a bit of salt and a bit of pepper. We take the bread, we take care that the liquid come out. It's not gonna be a lot, eh? Because there's so much liquid you use. The 40% of the of the weight of the meat is gonna be bread. Salt bread. So uh, then you have a nice balanced uh, between those two and it's gonna be really soft and nice and lovely. It's an important thing for this one. Bread inside, the meat inside. Parmesan, as much as you want. I actually like a lot. Okay. Roughly chopped petroselli, parsley, prezzemolo. <laughs> Every liquid. So then we, we put it in, we put it back. We have the meat, uh, bread, parmesan, petersilly, uh, the egg inside. The whole egg. And then you're gonna add to it, but this is something that you can. It's up to you. I like it, so I'm gonna do it. Gonna add a bit of garlic, but really, really a bit, just a bit, and. It's gonna be on the side of the um, of the bowl. So then, when we we're gonna mix it together, everything it's gonna take a bit of the taste, the smell, but it's not gonna be strong inside. Okay, now let's smell like garlic. We start to mix all together. this point, sure. we have a nice mixed uh, meat, okay, uh, with this one we're gonna make the polpetta. We just let it rest a bit, so then we are sure that also the bread and the, and the, and the meat are gonna mix together properly, so after in the moment that we make the balls, it's gonna be just one piece of everything, and you're not gonna have those pieces of bread everywhere, which is not really nice, we, don't have, uh, we have to have a nice mixed meat where, where to start with. Now we're gonna start to fry the polpette. I have a bit of water here for help me in making the bowl. So I make my hand a bit wet. It doesn't have to be really, really, really wet. Here we have the oil, already 180 degrees, 78 degrees. We have to take care that when we have the bowls, that they are not gonna be immersed in the oil, but just an half, okay? So it's not gonna be a deep frying, but an half deep fry. We make a nice bowl. Now, the balls, you can decide yourself. You like it, the big one, you like it, the, the, the little one. It's, it's, it's everything up to you. I like this kind of side. I think it's something like 50, 60 grams. Third, so we put it inside. Yes. Now here after that we turn it a few times, you see that they start to take color. One side not and the other one yes. So we just turn them gently. If you want to keep it a bit more lighter, the recipe, we can just make the ball and put them inside. But the taste is not gonna be the same. And in Italy, actually, we fry the ball in the um, fat of the pork. So a bit more. Okay, at this point, Come here, let me show you. Petta has to be soft. So if you don't have it soft, you have to do it again next time. As you see, the tomato is not watery, okay? It's gonna cover the whole uh, uh, polpetta. It's up to you. I mean, you can put uh, 
two, you can put three, you can put five, you can put ten. I can eat twenty of those, honestly. So just, yeah, just, just as much as you want it. And this, on this plate, we're gonna put a five. Because it's more pretty to see it. Now, this is the moment where we put the basilico. Really fresh and just break it a bit, put it on top, let it fall. It's a natural chaos and it's always beautiful. If you want also to decorate, we decorate it. But I honestly like it like this. Now we're gonna put this one. Tuck! Le polpette. <laughs> 